Herrings, Emane Jalof, Ardente, Delectable, Appetizing, Flavorsome. Ah, we're going to roast our vegetables in a preheated oven and 180 centigrade for 30 minutes. Tomatoes, onion, bell peppers, habaneros, and tomato peppers. All that now. Go ahead and blend it. So we're going to start with our glazed jollof, meaning jollof without water. So this is my olive oil, okay, about four tablespoons. And then add your chopped onions, okay, you can use the red one or the white one, it depends on you. Saute it for like two minutes, okay, and then add your butter. But you can use your coconut oil if you have it, but I love the flavor coming from the butter so this is my salted beef okay it's been washed when you're making the sauce because of the salted beef you don't need to add salt okay after you saute it for like five minutes give it the stir the aroma is everywhere so this is rosemary ginger garlic onion thyme and everything coming together blended okay now stir fry this for about 10 minutes it's been 10 minutes add your tomato paste okay also stir fry this and then this is turmeric uh jollof spices and i'm adding dry fish that is herring powder or any dried fish prawns powder you know i'm adding a lot because this brings kind of some sweetness to the stuff so this is the blended uh, roasted uh, vegetable also add it you add it after 20 minutes find the tin tomatoes so now it's been 15 minutes after adding the tomatoes i'm adding my herrings okay and the herrings is very hard so at the end of the day it's gonna it's not gonna break apart okay i realized that the sauce is a bit too much okay so i'm scooping some and then you can even have this with your white rice or potatoes or whatever i'm using one cup of um basmati rice give it a stir now you can add a little bit of salt after tasting it because the rice also needs a little bit of salt when cooking it now cover it okay and then we're coming back in 15 minutes it's been 15 minutes let's see so this is basically glazed um jollof no water give it a stir still don't add water because it's the sauce we're going to cook it and also the heat it's gonna trap um the heat the foil it's gonna trap the heat and all that so you see after 40 minutes now i'm adding more tuna okay and the rice is very soft like after you add the tuna you give it another 10 minutes and the low heat or medium heat okay we don't want that burnt jollof rice we don't want it you see it's very soft this is emulsified i know to some people it's a challenge to cook jollof without adding water to be candid with you it's all about patience when cooking rice and then trapping the heat to activate cover it well and be patient that's all you need on a low medium heat your rice is done i need to go sit on my dining table gorgeously majestically because i want to enjoy every bit of this food <laughs> my beloved i love you to infinity my name is queen bye